Hello folks. Happy Wednesday. Enjoying this uh, Stan Nikowski pipe, which was a kind gift of uh, my friend Bona Piper. And in the pipe I have some Sweet Vanilla Honeydew by Dan Tobacco, which was a kind gift from my friend the Durham Duke. So this is a friend-sponsored video. Just taking a quick break from uh, what is actually a very long day. I've got a lot of back-to-back -back meetings today and uh, just had an, enough time to have a pipe and chat for a little bit and then i got to get back to it and hopefully I'll be able to edit the video and get it posted uh, <laughs> during meetings. Uh, I don't I don't use the camera during meetings so I can uh, multitask. So, a couple of, of uh, quick announcements. This Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern, uh, Cane Rod Pipes, conversation with pipe smokers. We have uh, Paul the Piper. Paul's one of our moderators. Uh, he's over in the UK. He's agreed to stay up late to moderate the the show every week, and uh, this week he's going to be my guest. So I'm really looking forward to chatting with Paul, and uh, hopefully you'll join us for, for that. And you'll see an announcement coming out <clears throat> within the next 24 hours. So you'll be able to click the notification button. Also this Saturday uh, at 4 p.m., I'm going to be doing my monthly, um, what I've been calling a thank you live stream. So we'll be doing two things this week, though. We've got the raffle that's going on, and that is for this church warden that I made from the parts of uh, Father Anthony's pipe that I did not use, and you can see that in the Restumbling a Bamboo Shank series uh, on my channel. Uh, I'll link below to last Wednesday's video where I describe the, uh, everything about the uh, raffle, and I'll also put the information down below. Five dollars a chance, buy as many chances as you like. Uh, if you'd like to just donate, and all proceeds go to the uh, St. Vincent de Paul Society in uh, Father Anthony's Parish. These are guys that help the poorest of the poor, and at this time, the poorest of the poor are in real trouble uh, because they're being impacted disproportionately by the, the COVID-19 crisis. So we'd like to raise as much money as we can. Five dollars a chance, buy as many as you are comfortable buying. If you'd like to just donate, you don't want to try to win the pipe, send me an email and I'd be happy to, uh, to include your donation as well. I will um, close the raffle sales at midnight on Friday. So if you don't have your ticket by midnight Eastern time Friday, midnight, this always gets confusing, Saturday morning, Friday. As we cross over into Saturday, uh, that's your last chance to buy the tickets. So uh, we'll draw the winner on Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern uh, during the live stream. And we also will do what I do every month, and that's have a giveaway for anybody that attends the live stream. Uh, this is going to be, I usually do a trivia question and say, you know, the fourth correct answer wins, and it, it's a lot of fun. So this week, uh, this month, I haven't had a lot of time this month, guys, so it's, it's, not a, uh, it's not a fantastic prize, but I've got a pouch of Amphora Kentucky Blend. This is a very, very good tobacco. Uh, my good friend Everett Young originally turned me on to this, and Cal Delta Steve as well. Uh, I forget what Steve's YouTube name is these days, but uh, they both were big fans of this, and I tried it, and I became a big fan of it. If you like uh, Kentucky, Dark Fired Kentucky, this is very reminiscent of H&H &H Old Dark Fired. Um, you'll, you'll enjoy this. So, you get a chance to win it. Uh, all you have to do is answer a trivia question and attend the live stream. So, I hope to, hope to see you there. That's it for advertising. Thank you for sitting through that. Uh, let me get my pipe restarted. So, boy, it's been a week. It has just been back-to-back -back meetings and planning. We're, we're in the phase now where we're planning for a return to work, which is good. Um, we're going to return to work in phases and everything has, you know, they're trying to limit the number of people that are in any one room at the same time and all that kind of stuff. So we're prioritizing the work and then we're prioritizing the people doing the work and trying to schedule them. And it's a, it's a huge effort. And of course, every time you think you're done, something happens to make you go back to the beginning. 
But there is a light at the end of this tunnel. I think actually having to do this planning is, is part of that light. Um, you know, it's, it's interesting. A lot of people are starting to get very upset about the restrictions, and rightfully so. I mean, this has been going on for a long time now, and I understand people are, are saying enough is enough. At the same time, we want to be responsible. Uh, we want to be safe, and we want to try to limit the, the damage that this thing causes. Of course, we need to keep in mind that all the social distancing stuff is not is not saving lives. Uh, there, there's this misconception that we're saving lives by doing this. We're not. We're flattening the curve. That's what they've always talked about from the very beginning. We're preventing the hospitals from being overwhelmed. But by decreasing the peak of that curve, we're also stretching out the duration of this. And therefore, the same number of people are ultimately going to be infected. And the same number of people are ultimately going to die. It's just the hospitals aren't going to be overcrowded. So, that's unfortunate, and you know, but it's just the reality. And we gotta, you know, we can't hide in our houses forever. We gotta get back to normal. So I understand the people that are starting to protest. Uh, apparently every county in Pennsylvania that is red, so we're either red, yellow, or green, um, every red county has petitioned the governor to move to yellow. And the governor has across the board said no. Uh, there are some counties now that are saying they will not prosecute anyone that does not abide by the governor's regulations. So it's getting a little nasty. And I hope that, you know, cooler heads will prevail and we can get through this <clears throat> without people doing anything stupid. But right now, I'm looking at places like Georgia and Florida where they've basically, from what I understand, have gotten rid of all restrictions or a lot of restrictions. Uh, Texas also, I believe. And I'm looking at the numbers there. You know, this this week, next week is going to be very telling. But so far, they, they've stayed fairly flat. You know, you're going to get day-to-day -day variation. It's the, the running average that you're interested in. Um, they've stayed fairly flat. And if that continues, uh, and I hope it does, if, if that continues, then I think we're we're coming out of this. And we have to recognize that and start to loosen up restrictions across the board. But time will tell, and it's still early days, so we shall see. I like what I do for a living. I like my job. Um, I never feel like, oh, jeez, i got to go to work. You know, it, it's not like that. Some, some days I'm just tired or, you know, there's other things I'd rather be doing, but I never dread going to work, and I'm very fortunate for that. But right now I just want to do something normal. I just want to go into my office and use the computer in my office rather than in my basement. I want to, I want to see other people. So today, it's I'm going to have to get back to work as soon as I stop this, and uh, hopefully I'll get this posted up sometime this evening. Beyond that, I got I got an appointment at five o'clock. Probably going to eat dinner and fall asleep because <laughs> I've been going since six this morning. This Dan Tobacco um, Sweet Vanilla Honeydew is definitely on my list of aromatics I enjoy. No chemical taste. Good tobacco. Good flavor in the topping. Well, folks, it's been good chatting with you. Um, I really hope I get to see you all on Friday and definitely tune in on Saturday for the, uh, the raffle and the giveaway. So until then, guys, you all enjoy. Have a great rest of the week. And, uh, you know, hang in there. Keep saying we're going to get there. Take care now.